What's up guys and welcome to the channel. Well guys, I'm back working on Foxy today. And today on the Fox Body, I'm going to be installing a double den stereo. This is the boss one. Now this here should uh, pretty much complete my sound system. I ain't gonna be installing no amplifier. I'm just gonna hook this up to my kickers. And uh that should be it on my sound system for the Fox body at the moment. And also I got a um, double thin kit right here to go with it. It's the part number. Got it at Amazon. It's like 10 bucks. And the good thing about this, it actually comes with instructions here. here on uh on pretty much how to do this. There's instructions. And in the back here. Instructions on how to put it on. And actually how to remove your factory one if you have a factory which I don't have a factory mine's is a um, aftermarket and this bracket here which I already removed this bracket now I was like uh, I'm gonna have to cut these studs here in order to get this to fit in flush which I'll show you here in a minute all right guys so let's let's get started on this. All right, guys. So I done already removed my uh, stereo, which is um right here. It's my stereo, the head on it. The aftermarket. It has an aftermarket kit, so I'm just holding by four Phillips screws. What the world? Cat. These. Oh, my, both my cats. They're a little bit curious about what's going on over here, I guess. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, so this is basically hold on by Philip, four Phillips screws. Let's pull it out and unhooked everything back there. And, um,. Uh, Inside here, there was a um, there was a bracket right there, and it was um, sitting on top of these studs. It was bolted down on top of the studs. So I removed that, and also I think I'm gonna have to cut these studs down. In order to, um, in order to get my um, double din stereo to uh, sit flush up here, Cause I think if I don't cut them, I think it's gonna make it stick out. So we'll see if I have to cut them or not. Yeah, cause I believe that bracket was for the factory stereo. So, um, yeah, I already wired up everything basically. I'll kind of show you what I did here. Now, these are the two connectors that came with the double DIN, which um, one's for the uh, power, and let's see, this is the power one, and this one is the speaker one. Basically, they're labeled. When you get these, they're labeled. So I'll kind of show you where, where I hooked everything up. Basically, everything just color matched. I'll try to show you. Get this uh, camera to focus. So this is basically my power one. Like I said, these are the ones that came with the uh, Boss 
double din stereo. So on the power one, got the uh, yellow one, which is level labeled uh, the battery 12 volt, and also the um, ACC 12 volt. I got it wired up into this wire here. Which I believe is the starter wire. That's what color that wire is. Uh, it does have an extension, which I think the original wire is yellow with some black stripe there. I had to wire it up like this because it's basically how the other people's had it um, wired up. Yeah, that's uh, the blue one. I ain't gonna need because I ain't got an electric uh, uh, electric antenna. Well, the black one here, which is the ground, the ground got it hooked up to the black one here. Also, it's got a white stripe. This one. And uh, I believe the factory color one is green and black. It's green and black the factory for the ground. So yeah, that's the uh, power switch. All right, so the speaker one. It's right here. This is the one for the connector speaker. The one that came with the um, boss over here you have your two purples one has a black stripe one is solid purple and these two purple ones are labeled your rear right speaker Both were rep speakers. Got them hooked up into um, purple wire here with the black strap. Hook up to the purple with the black strap right here, and the purple with the solid strap. Let's see what color is the original war. These are the original wars. Help get this to focus. Right there, they're like a pinkish. One's got like a bluish color right there. Another one's got black on it, which they hook up onto. The next two bars, which is the uh, these two gray ones here, which is labeled front right speakers. One's for left, and one's for right, but they got them labeled right. <clears throat> got it hooked up into a lot of gray. See, one gray is solid color, and one's got a black. So I'm gonna hook up to that. And the, um, let's see if I can find the original color war. Like I said, these have got some stint, some wire extended on it. Basically, it's gonna be a pink with like a green on it for the front speakers. Let's see if I can find the other gray wire. Kind of to follow these wires, try to find them. What goes where? Okay, the other one. 
that color. It's like a green, more green on the bottom, and then yellow, it's like a orange. I hope this helps you out. I'm trying to show them as best as I can. Kind of hard to do. I'm trying to do my best. So the next ones would be the two white wars, which are labeled. Front left, front left speakers. Okay, I see now. So I got two wires for the right and two wires for the left. Okay. Got it now. So the solid and then the other one it's got a black stripe on it. It's a white color. And it's hooked up into an orange with a black. And the other one hooked up into a blue with a white at the bottom. That's what they look like. And the uh, last of it, are these two green ones. One solid, one with a black. Which is for the rear speakers. For your right ones, hook up onto the green right here. And my extended wire, and uh, it's hooked up onto the pinkish one, pink with a green, and a yellow there. I hope that helps y'all out. Like I said, this is on mine, and um, what I wired up was right here. These other wires were wired in by the people that wired in the other radio. Yeah, I use these. They really recommend that you use solder them, that you solder them that way they don't break loose. But I just use these and the other people use some of these butt connectors. I hope that helps you out on the connection of these connectors. I try my best to try to show them. Hopefully. Alright, so that's basically how I got these connectors connected. And things. Now my Mustang is a 93 GT. So now what I'm gonna do now is basically I'm going to um cut these studs down and um try to get this double thin stereo in. We're gonna try to cut it down with. I'm gonna cut it down with this. I'm gonna try to stick it in there. Try to cut it. I was gonna do it with a electric um, little wheel grinder to put in there, but I really don't got the room to do it. So I'm just gonna try to use this. Let's we'll see where we get. Be back in a minute. All right, guys. So I ended up having to cut the stud in order to get it to fit in there, and. Um, I put on these brackets that came with my uh, double thin kit. I used the screws that came with this boss one to bolt them on there. So now, basically, it's gonna plug in my power and my speaker right there, and put my antenna right there. This right here is for the camera, backup camera, which I'm not gonna be plugging up or using. So uh, yeah, gonna work on get it in there. So I'll be right back. So all right, guys, pretty much finished uh, installing it. All I did was uh, plugged it up, pushed it, pushed it in there. Now I did not use these um these two brackets that came with the kit. I didn't use them. I tried using them, but my radio wouldn't fit in there like that. In order for me to get it to fit in there, I would have to 
trim around the edge here or over here on the side I left the trim on the side there and uh, I didn't want to do anything I didn't want to do any of that so let's put it in there without it just slide it in there it was a little rough getting it in there but I was able to wiggle it in there got it in there and um, remove this bracket that was on my boss radio got that removed and just put this um, cover here that comes with the uh, double thin kit just screw it on there yep so yeah that's pretty much gonna finish it and pretty much finish my uh, sound system for my fox body fox body at the moment I might later on maybe put some amp in here but right now I'm pretty good right here with this so yeah guys thanks for watching like and subscribe see more videos on the fox body and my other cars that I got <laughs> so see y'all later